Okay, first of all, your name? Sergeant Dale Park. Dale, tell me a little bit about this case. What, uh, tell me how it came about, uh, how you first learned of the uh, of this incident, and kind of bring it up to speed. On uh, January uh, the 17th, which was Tuesday, around 4 o'clock, I received a phone call um, from a local business here in Magnolia. It stated they had an employee that they had suspended uh, for, a failed, uh, for a drug test that he failed. Uh, after some investigation to the Human Resources Department, they uh, verified that uh, there was some explicit images on some company-issued uh, computer equipment. Um, after when I arrived on at that location, uh, they had already had the images exposed to me, showing me the explicit images of you know short child pornography. Um, from that from that point there, we went on to uh, maintain a search warrant through Montgomery County and uh, contacted uh, uh, Precinct 4 Harris County in regards to the uh, Internet Crimes Against Children. They have a task force that they primarily handle these, these type of cases. What, uh, you, you got the warrant on these several images. How old the kids were these? Images? Uh, these kids ranged from, from four to seven. You know, there was some, you know, maybe nine, ten years old. What about, okay, uh, ran a search warrant what, this morning? How did ran you hear a rundown of the search warrant coming in, what, what all you found, and uh, how he reacted to stuff? This morning we teamed up with uh, with ICAC, which is like I said, it's Internet Crimes Against Children. Um, Eight o'clock this morning, uh, we uh, we staged and uh, to locate, you know, maintain that the suspect was at home. Um, when uh, we arrived at, on his location, he was in, actually in his driveway uh, checking his mail. So um, we notified him that we had a search warrant for his property um, in the house and uh, made entry into the home and located over 30 hard drives, uh, flash drives, um, of that nature. What about there was mostly on computer, several computers? Several, several computers. Um, I believe there was over uh, 10 or 12 computers located. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the hard drives, all total of everything seized, I believe it was like 32, 33 items that we had taken from the house. Quite a few images also on those that you... At, at, at this time, we, we don't know. This is still under investigation on that, on that end of it um, to see what is on those. Those are being processed by uh, ICAC right now. Okay, what about, what about his reaction to all this? How was he when he first told him, hey, I've got a search warrant? How, what kind of reaction was he? He was kind of astonished. He, he didn't really know why we were there at the time. Um, later on, you know, after, after speaking with him, um, he had uh, mentioned that he had uh, u utilized uh, the equipment to find uh, child pornography uh, users. What, uh, or something like this. I mean, how's y'all, it's got to be tough on y'all, too. Something like this. I mean, right here in your own town, right in your own city. This is tough. I, I tell you, this that was probably uh, the images that I did that I did observe um, the day of, uh, you know, actually getting the phone call. Um, something I've never seen before, and um, you know, something I don't care to see again. Um, you know, uh, it's it, it's 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 sad that that these folks are in our community, um, but you know, it, it's it's a it's good to know that we have a task force and groups uh, such as ICAC. Um, and a council that will allow us to go and, and, and work with this with this task force. What about now? What kind of charges are there? At this time, um, charges have not been filed on this guy. We still have to process the, the evidence that's found um, at the at the residence. Um, as of right now, this subject is in custody for possession of controlled substance, which was located on him as we pulled up at the residence. Okay. 
charges them and charge Char them every three uh, Pending charges, uh, you know, depending upon what we find. Okay, now what about the, the stuff that you've already found on the computers at the office? As of right now, those, you know, um, we can file charges on, on those images. We'd like to, you know, obviously add to, to this case um, if we can. Um, so we're going to hold off on those charges, leave them pending until we get the results back. How long are we looking at results on those? Uh, ICAC is, is explained that three to five days, they should be able to get some kind of results back to us. Okay. Are you going to be able to get a hold of them in three to five days? Of yes, sir. What you've got yes, right sir. Now? Correct. Okay. What about, uh, now what about, you said married, children, or anything like that? He was married. He actually uh, recently married uh, in November, I believe. Uh, he, you know, he had maybe a month, month and a half um, is what he had been. Uh, or no kids. Uh, he had a stepson, but no kids of his own. The younger stepson, or older? I believe he was 14, 15, somewhere in there. You know, you said he had some meth on. What's the, what's the, how'd that come about? Uh, when, when, when the officers um, first arrived, um, he had a, uh, he was actually checking his mail out at the edge of the roadway. Uh, we pulled up, patted him down for officer safety. Um, he had ad admitted to having a, a meth pipe in his pocket, as well as locating a small amount of meth amphetamine. All right. Hey, once you contacted, you, you contacted the Harris County Precinct 4. Correct. On their cyber crimes, their children against uh, pornography. You understood that when you talked to them, they said, hey, well, we've got a case working with a neighbor. Kind of tell me about the case with the neighbor. Correct. Uh, once the once Precinct 4, uh, uh, Sergeant Sparger, once he uh, realized the area that this was taking place in, he, uh, you know, recollection had, you know, reminded him that he had some uh, cases that he was already looking at in the same area. We were able to retrieve the address of the of the suspect, and uh, end up being the neighbor of our suspect. Um, come to find out um, through the investigation that the neighbor was using uh, the neighbor's um, internet connection was not secure, and our suspect was leeching uh, internet from from her neighbor from his neighbor, which in return could have led to her being uh, in this same position. And, and, and you know, with with no knowledge of it going on. Elderly female or older female? Elderly female. Um, you know, didn't have had, had no idea. Um, we were able to get with her this morning after the the search had gone through. Um, get with her and explain to her, you know, what was going on, and uh, was able to actually establish a secure network for her. So what did she think about this whole thing? She was a little, little shocked. You know, as everybody should be. I mean, I, you know, this is a, this is not something that anybody. Needs to uh, needs to see or be so around. Basically, they were looking not really as a as her as being a suspect. They were looking at the IP address coming off that internet. Correct. And linking, hey, she owns this IP address. Correct. The this this very well could have been this morning's uh, search warrant very well could have been at her address, and she would have had no knowledge of, of of what was going on, all because of an unsecured network. All right.
worked on the story next door with this guy next door. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if I could talk to you for just a second. No, I don't think so. Okay, he I understand he was hacking your internet line? I'm not involved with that. I know you're not involved with it at all. They said you're totally not involved with it. Uh, that, but he was hacking your internet line is the way he was actually get, getting access to it. I'm not going to talk to you, okay? Okay, thank you. you Appreciate it. <clears throat>